What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1973 Chevy Camaro. Came back a 67 model, 396 under the hood. We do not have power steering. We do not have power brakes. Uh, pretty bare there, so we should be uh, getting down the road pretty fast. We're going to see how fast this car is. It's got a roll cage inside it, bucket seats, the floor shifter. And of course, I like picking out flaws, so that's uh, not the only thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take it down the road, look for rust, dents, scratches, anything that you need to know about before you get here. We do have finance and shipping available, 100 detailed pictures of every car, and every Monday I'm putting out about 10 new rides. For now, guys, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off in any video, we like to look around the interiors, check everything out, place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Pretty nice little setup in here. Like I said, it's got the racing harnesses in the back. They tub the rear. The carpet in the back could be buttoned up a little bit better, but your headliner is nice and clean. You do got a couple of holes here where it used to have the visors and now they're gone. Coming across the dash here, decent shape. Showing 75,000 miles. You've got the aftermarket radio, should have Bluetooth on it, aftermarket gauges below the dash there, and the carpet in this one has been replaced. Go ahead, start her up. Bill tag's not coming up or working. Engine temperature is coming up, your oil pressure's at 65. Let's try to turn the radio on here. Radio is not cutting on. It may not be hooked up right. This thing looks fairly new, but as of right now, it's not doing a thing. Turn signals. Left side's not blinking. Right side's not blinking. That doesn't mean it's not working on the outside. We'll be checking that after I do the undercarriage shot. Blower motor. Blower motor is not working on this one. Wipers, they are working. Horn, did you place your best? If you said it was working, you was wrong. Let's hit the road. Yeah, she runs and drives. Okay, guys, getting ready to take off down the road here. So I did notice something. Can't really put the seat belts on when they're just kind of dangling in the seat there. The ones behind it, they're strapped in, but they're not going to do anything without the lower portions. Um, of course, that is first. I'm assuming it's manual valve body, but I'm going to leave it in this gear here, and we'll find out if it shifts. First thing we're going to do is take off down the road, see how she controls. Test the brakes. We'll find out here in a moment. Some fuel. The gas tank on here is showing full. We'll see if it 
I didn't get $20 worth of fuel in here. We got a full tank at 15. So I don't have to worry about gas. Put it in right there. The gauge may work. It's on full. If it goes up any more, I'd say it's decently accurate. But that's what it was when I got here. Turn it on. Yeah, it's not moving. I don't think I trust that gauge. All right. temperature's good we're looking at 170 full pressure jumps to 60 at idle it's at 20 let's keep rolling until you hit the brakes. When you hit the brakes, it pulls more to the left. One, but it'll give you an idea with the sound. It's right here. Fairly smooth still when you hit it, you can feel it. Uh, if it was a great suspension, you wouldn't even feel that. Okay, let's walk around this ride, picking out the flaws. Anything I find you'll know about, detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Coming up around the front end here. 
pretty decent chrome bumper it is older it's not in perfect condition Got a little chip there a little chip on the nose crack in the corner there Around the front end looks pretty good. Little spot there. It's got some light like, lines in the paint. Little dimples up here in the nose. Over here it looks a little thick, like a little drip. Bubble there. So let's see how the shadow cast. You know, I think I'll be alright running this way. Up and over. bottom of the door looks decent little spot there also right there you got some uh, rust in the corner of the door here also in the back little bondo popping crack right there in the corner chip chips back here in the back there's a lot of little paint scratches in there rubber all along the back side coming back down your midsection i am fighting a shadow here a little scratch there light scuff here in the middle you see where they've leaned over the fender under the motor there light scuffs on this top of this fender up here in the corner Get over your front windshield, it's in good shape. Trim around it is also in good shape. Up your pillar, mirror's good. Got some light scratches on the roof there. Scratch there on the top back you definitely uh, need to pull that carpet back little spots in the back here chip Coming up on the trunk. Jam looks good. The seal's good in the trunk as well. The bar's in the trunk here. See where they've welded some spots in. The battery ran back here. Need some bolts in that. Break it's tight. Around your edges of your trunk lid look good. When I'm down with it. That slammer shut. Chrome bumper on the back looks pretty good. A little bit of pitting. scratch there got some rubber here chips back here chips on the edge of the door the bottom there too Scuff, hazy spot up here on top. Light scratches up here on top of that fender. Back your midsection. Of course, chips. Chips on top of the fender here. 
a little dent chips back window looks good on this one chip there as well and over the roof light scratches and some up here too a lot of that stuff will come out this one won't seal looks decent around the window needs to be pulled back chips also up here scratches front windshield's got a big old chip in it most of it looks good except for that trim looks good guys we made it around the ride let's check out the inside so on the inside here opening this large door see it's a little bit faded it's got a couple little scratches there in the middle scuff here on there as well Weather well, stripping looks good. No bubbles in the corner of that door. At the bottom. Chips. Light little scratches in the seat, but most of it looks pretty good. Carpet in this one's, you know, it's been cut up a little bit. You can see that all over around the back as well kind of different carpets and stuff some of your package tray that could just be straightened up and it's just going to keep moving around with the wind Let's see where they cut the bars out so that you can actually get in and out of your car <laughs> give her some gas pump pump come on Yeah, I may have had her flooded. Let's try it again. Just held her to the floor. It was flooded. doesn't actually have springs so there's nothing holding it up it's just very light i guess they took the air cleaner off on this one because it wouldn't fit it needs a really low profile one coming down with the hood here it falls pretty easy we got some pins back at the lot but I'm gonna throw these locks on it them scratches came from the hood doesn't line up right I tried to go over every kind of flaw that I could find. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. Look at those detailed pictures. Financing and shipping is available. MapleMotors.com updates every Monday. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.